The Panda Shepherd is a unique variety of the German Shepherd with a rare genetic mutation. In this video I will tell you all you need to know about the Panda Shepherd. I would love to thank all these Instagram profiles for letting me use their photos in this video. If you will like the Panda Shepherd and you would love to see more of it, definitely check them out. Links are in description. Most people never heard about Panda Shepherds and when they see them for the first time, they think it is a German Shepherd cross. Some people think that it is a Coley Shepherd cross, others think that it is a crossed white shepherd. But that is not true. The Panda Shepherd is a purebred piebald colored German Shepherd with approximately 35% of white color and the rest of the body should be black and tan. The first Panda Shepherd was born in the year 2000 and its name was Lufchinka's Franca von Fanum. By the way, for example Tokela from this video is a direct ancestor and great great grandson of this first Panda Shepherd. So the Panda Shepherd didn't evolve by crossbreeding, it was a spontaneous genetic mutation and the parents of this first Panda Shepherd were both typical working purebred German Shepherd dogs. All the dogs in the litter were typically looking GSDs, but one, Franca von Fanum, was piebald. When Franca matured, she was bred with another normally looking GSD and she had four puppies. Three out of these four pups were Panda Shepherds, one looked like a typical GSD. By the way, Franca parents were blood tested and it is certified that they were purebred GSDs with no white shepherd's ancestors. The Panda Shepherd is a result of mutation of the kid gene which affects the color. Luckily, it should not cause any health issues. So other than the color, Panda Shepherd has the same appearance and temperament as German Shepherd. Franca, the first Panda Shepherd also had blue eyes which can also be caused by this genetic mutation. But her pups had brown eyes and only some of the Panda Shepherds have blue eyes, but it can happen. Even though the Panda Shepherd is considered as purebred, the white markings are considered as a fault by most of the kennel clubs, which means they cannot attend the show ring. Other than that, this is a typically looking German Shepherd, with average height between 55 to 65 centimeters, which is 22 to 26 inches, and weight is typically between 22 to 40 kilograms, which is 49 to 88 pounds. Females are typically a little bit smaller than males. The temperament of Panda Shepherd is oftentimes described as intelligent, eager to please, very active, curious, watchful and protective. Those dogs are highly trainable and versatile and are capable of working in many different areas. Panda Shepherds can be police and military dogs, guards and watchdogs, rescue dogs, they can sniff out drugs and explosives and they can also serve as guide and service dogs. Traditionally, German Shepherds were used for herding and they would still be able to herd and protect the livestock. If you are thinking about getting a Panda Shepherd, you should be prepared for a lot of exercise. This dog has a high energy and high exercise needs, so daily outdoor walks or jogs are must. Most of them are pretty playful and they like playing different games such as frisbee. Daily training sessions are also important, those dogs actually enjoy the training, especially if they are rewarded with a lot of affection and treats. You can also try some dog sport, Panda Shepherd is a great adept for agility, obedience, herd trials or trekking trials. This will exhaust the dog physically but also mentally. An exhausted dog is a good dog. The German Shepherd, so the Panda Shepherd as well, is prone to some serious health issues. The most common is hip dysplasia. Other health issues associated with this breed include degenerative myelopathy, congenital heart defect and von Willebrand's disease. The average lifespan of Panda Shepherd is 10 to 13 years. The Panda Shepherd has a dense double coat which sheds all the time, seasonally, very heavily. You should brush their coat on daily basis to remove the dead hair and minimize the shedding. There are no other grooming needs and those dogs do not require much bathing, only if it's really necessary. Just like with all dogs, you should check the dog's ears, eyes, nails and teeth and clip them or clean them if needed. Tell me in comments what you like the most about the Panda Shepherd and what is your experience with this dog breed. If you are new on this channel, consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check our Instagram, Facebook, links are in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.